Hey there, beauties and gentle beauties. What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. Ciao. By the name from the YouTube dog, yo. Yo, Ellie. It's week now up there with Ellie Mueller, and now the man who has something to say about Joe Ellen Elman. Really? Does anybody even know who Joe Ellen Elman is? No? Well, we're going to do a show about her anyway, so buckle up. Mr. Ellie Gungy Mueller! Ha! Welcome to week now up there. I'm Ellie Gungy Mueller, what's up, guys? Tom Allen, kids, Tom Allen. Hey, boss, how you feeling? I'm doing all right, how about yourself? I'm a little emotional. Why? What's wrong? We have always, uh, we lost Harry Belafonte and Jerry Springer. Yeah, and I'm getting into that, all right? No, I'm going to get to that. As a matter of fact, right now. So, as uh, Mr. Uh, Allen uh, indicated, you know, uh, a couple of days ago, we lost the uh, great singer, activist, and performer, Harry Belafonte. And just today, well, actually yesterday, depending on where you're uh, watching this uh, from, you know what, famous talk show host Jerry Springer passed away. Now, both of them are uh, very different, of course, but, you know what, they both share one thing in mind. They both share this particular thing in common. All right? No matter where you go or, or what you do, their work will always live on. So, how about a moment of silence real quickly for the both of them? They will be missed. And now let's get on to uh, some other things, all right? You know, the comments of the week, I already uh, pinned the, uh, I already pinned one of the uh, winners, and you'll find out uh, who our winners are tomorrow, okay? You know, for the comments of the week. You already know about the question and blah, blah, blah. All right. You know, let's see uh, what we're doing here. Oh, theme song composer, Dominic, um, Dominic Mattis Piano. Did I mention him first off? Second of all, the Kobe crew and the camera lady, they are responsible for doing a bunch of things on this program, Evo Amber 2004. Uh, we don't know uh, if she's going to do uh, more things on this uh, program in the future or not, but, you know, uh, she is really great as well. And there are uh, shouts for that winners are uh, two of them, actually. You know, Rocky Bowl 10, you know, I give him some love because he is pretty cool. You know, and Maggie Elise, who is a voiceover uh, act. All right, and at the same time, I would like to give uh, a shout out to Rocky Boat and uh, girlfriend, uh, Trisha S. Yeah, Trisha S. You know what? What's up? What's up? What's up? Here we go. What's up? What's up with Joe Ellen Pellman, a woman who wants one thing? Bang! <laughs> you almost thought there was something dirty, huh? Let's take a look at some facts about her. She loves to bake. She was on HBO before, and she did You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Who cares? And check this out. She has an interesting net worth. One million dollars. Yeah, I know. He is woke. Get a clue. Oh, wait a minute. Get a clue, that's uh, a phrase that uh, the villain once said uh, a couple of times before, but, you know, that doesn't really make uh, much sense, you know? And, by the way, you know, uh, here's something interesting about the, uh, the villain that I just found out about uh, earlier uh, today. You know what? Uh, 
you know, check this out, all right? Actually, pay attention to this, all right? You know, the villain, you know, it did bring terror to uh, people in different uh, cartoon universes. He succeeded, but he was eventually overthrown. And, <laughs> and if you put him up against uh, cartoon characters who are not uh, as particularly humans, then we know uh, who uh, his weakness is. We know who uh, makes him uh, very weak. But, but, apparently he is even more vulnerable to attacks coming from angels, demons, and uh, aliens than he is, uh, you know, towards uh, attacks. Uh, from uh, human beings and things like that. Very strange, but, you know, uh, what can you do? What can you do? Oh, I know what we can do. I have a, I have a really good top eight list from MP and the Elephant. Here we go. <laughs> Top eight list. There we go. Okay, tonight's category. By the way, thanks, boss. Tonight's category. Top eight people who Joe Ellen Pillman should avoid at all times. Number eight, Jimmy Fallon. Number seven, Seth Meyers. Number six, Jimmy Kimmel. Number five, Stephen Colbert. Number four, Chelsea Handler. Number three, James Corden. Number two, Wendy Williams. And number one, the villain who wants to destroy the world even though he looks like Heidi Klum's long lost twin brother. Really? Oh yeah, I went there. Woo. All right, boy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Woo. Okay, the hashtags. You know, make sure you remember them and use them on social media. Hashtag Week Now Update. Hashtag Fred Love Around. Hashtag Elio for Late Night. And hashtag Elio for Adult Swim. And while you're at it, like this thing, subscribe, ring the bell, share, we can chat out in the comment section down below. Please do all those things. Oh, we'll be back with Edward Scott, Talking Time, a new episode of World Ramblers, and a classic performance from the Multiverse Disability Choir. This is Week Now Update, and here it is, your Bow the Night. You're an average Joe, you flow so sloppy. Get some better rounds, you best lay off me. Done! Wait. Hello out there from TV land, a beautiful place to be. Nick at night, better living through good TV. Empire announces Chicago's only private carpet sale. A private carpet sale? The one carpet sale that happens right in your home. A sale in my home? Just for you alone. Empire brings out all the sale prices and you choose your carpet in your own home. You get 10 to 50% off next day delivery, free credit for six months on our famous free basketball. And you'll never leave home. Can I have my private sale today? We'll be right out. 588-2300 Empire! Trevor Scott and the boys. Hey, Ed, how are you? Hey, boss. Man, this has been one up the turvy week. I know. I mean, uh, with the losses of Jerry Springer and Harry Belafonte and, you know, the fact that uh, this show has been going all over the place this past week. Man, it's really hard to get everything uh, together, you know? Yeah, in the meantime, let's enjoy this new episode of The World Around Us. April showers bring me flowers. Hey, that rhymes. And there's no crime. And there are no crimes. Okay, I'll stop. 
But you know what we'll never stop? That's right, we'll never stop doing the world around us. We'll always keep it going. As a matter of fact, we got a new episode for you right now. Let's go. Me want friends. Where is friends? Caveman Reed so angry. Don't worry, Caveman Reed. We will get friends. Caveman Laura promises that. Do you, cave woman Laura? Me too. Me too. Okay. So, what do 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 we do? Like, what do we do? Well, we just get preparations. Let's see. Food check. Um, music? Check. Um, what else missing? Me don't know. Hmm. Oh, moon. Uh, not yet checkerful. What do you mean not checkerful? Because me don't see moon. But sun going down. And they're absolutely late! Mm, Caveman Reed doesn't like this! Caveman Reed is scared! Don't worry, Caveman Reed! They're coming! They're coming! Ugh! This is stupid! No, it's not! Ugh! Ugh! <gasps> oh! They're here! They're here! Ugh! 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 We will miss it! Yeah! We will see moon! And eat food! And party! And listen to music! Yeah! Me really wanted to show up! Don't you mean we? Yeah, Caveman Nunu! We wanted to show up! Yeah, me am sorry, but when party gonna start? When the sun goes down. Hey, the sun go down. Moon coming up. Well, let's get ready to howl. The moon will come up in three. Um, what's uh before three? Oh, uh, two? What comes before two? Oh, one! Moon up! Start howling! Ow! Now we howl, moon! Let's party! Yeah! Ugh! Well, this has been another installment of the World of Wellness. I would rate it, everybody. 10 out of 10. So would I. World of Wellness has been a production of casting shoes in association with Nick at Night. When late night TV breaks, we fix it. That was incredible. I mean, that was just whew, fantastic. But you know what else is fantastic? The Multiverse Disability Choir. And we have another one of the uh, classic performances right now. Here we go. <laughs> there, there, my little princess. It's okay. Daddy's here. Here's something to make you happy. The Multiverse Disability Tour. This one is from my one and only true love, Princess Peach. Peach, you're so cool. And with my star, we're gonna rule. Peach, understand, 
I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peaches, 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 peaches. time it is? That's correct. It's talkie time to know what Ellie is talking about. So let's talk about it and dance about it. Okay. Now, as many of you know, Joel Ellen Pellman, you know, recently did such movies as, you know, The Palm and things like that. Now, Check this out, all right? He has also performed on Broadway. You know, pay attention to this, okay? You know, this is interesting, all right? Excuse me. He has done plays such as You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. That's like a musical, but whatever. Uh, he also did The Drowsy Chaperone, and he also did The Tempest. I wonder if he ever got, you know, uh, roses at the end of her performance. Oh, something about. She was doing musicals and plays. Of course, uh, she gets uh, roses at the end of her performance. You know, that's uh, custom, you know, when you're at the theater. Now, you know what? Uh, she has also appeared on... HBO's uh, classic program is called The Deuce. Okay. That was totally unexpected on my part, but oh boy, I really need to stop pausing after uh, everything that I say because that was just not cool, okay? That wasn't cool, but I just did that. I'm sorry. But anyway, they said that she likes to bake. You know, of course, we don't have uh, a photo of one of the things that she uh, cooks uh, over there because apparently, you know, uh, Joe has left Instagram, but we can assume that she has made a lot of uh, great things for everybody to eat. Now, Let's see how much uh, she is worth. You know, uh, apparently she is worth a million dollars. I mean, just a million dollars? A million dollars? Her net worth is a million dollars, and yet she has done movies such as The Prom and things like that. And the fact that Oh. 
And this is interesting, right? Despite the fact that she has a net worth of $1 million. Now, this is interesting, right? Her earnings are not disclosed, which is very uh, strange considering the fact that everyone in Hollywood, yeah, everyone in Hollywood has had his or her earnings uh, disclosed and things like that. So, who knows at this point? Who really knows? All I know for sure is this has been one bumpy ride. This has been one bumpy show. Oh my goodness. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to talk about David Spade. Now, Lingy has you know, decided not to do uh, things for this program anymore because he has other things uh, to worry about. But Mild Chakra is still going to be on the show. Evil Amber 2004 will still be on the show. Rocky Bowl 10 will have uh, you know, some things uh, ready for this uh, program as well. You know, and the Camel Lady and the Color B crew will be on board as well. It's going to be an interesting program tomorrow. All right, folks, see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm Al Skis, for a while, by for a while.